last time I was in Montreal, it was, it was in the winter time, my friend says, John, we're going skiing. Now, I don't ski. Nobody's ever looked at me and went, you ski, don't you? <laughs> no. Now, I wouldn't ski, but I'll go and look at the mountains and everything, but no, they gave me tequila. Now, apparently, after the fifth shot of tequila, you think you can ski. <laughs> they should have a warning on the label. A chubby guy skiing with a slash through it. After the tenth shot, I thought I was peekaboo panette. And I didn't have a ski suit. Surprise, surprise. But they bought me one, it was white. <laughs> That's my color. I look like an avalanche. <laughs> They're evacuating the lodges. I didn't ski, they basically just pushed me off Mont Gabriel. <laughs> That's when I learned how to speak French. She was Saint Marie Point de Gas, le Seigneur. tous les femmes Jésus. I fell down the mountain. I get to the bottom of the mountain and I'm covered in snow, nearly lifeless. Little kid walks up to me and goes, Frosty's dead! Frosty's dead! And he was crying. I didn't want him to cry, so I had to get up, you know? There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. Open the ambulance doors, please. I'm gonna need Percocets and a Pez dispenser. No, skiing not for me. From now on, they ask me to go skiing, I say nay, nay. And it's no, my friends, my family, they like to do things to me to see what will happen to me. In summertime, the sports, the activities, water skiing, that's another nay, nay. The boat just pulls you. I didn't even stand on the skis. It was like snorkeling underwater really fast. I heard a shark go, what the hell was that? <laughs> That's a nay-nay. I'll tell you, a big nay, white water rafting. What, a, they give you a little raft. Listen, if, they, if it doesn't have a casino and a buffet, it ain't seaworthy, I ain't getting in that thing. <laughs> the white water, we're going down the river. I was like, can we back? against the rocks one more time, I still have cartilage left in my right knee. <laughs> That's a nay-nay. At the beginning of the month, my family took me to a water park. Now, I like to swim. Swimming is my exercise. I frolic. <laughs> but there are rides at the park. Horrible nay-nay rides. <laughs> the first ride we went on was the giant slide. It's like 20 stories high and I'm looking for the elevator. <laughs> There's no elevator. I, how do you get up there? It's $35 to get in. You should carry my ass up there. <laughs> how do you get up? I'm in flip-flops and a Speedo, and I'm walking up a mountain. Visualize, just let's move on, shall we? <laughs> I'm walking up this thing, and I'm a little bit afraid of heights. And I'm mean, halfway up, I'm going, Ricola! <laughs> Ricola! <laughs> Heidi went by with her grandfather. I don't know how high we went. <laughs> I got to the top of the slide. Was it a slide? <laughs> nay, nay. Because I did not slide. And I have slid. When you slide, you go, wee. This is not what happened. I went, shh, eh! I didn't slide. At no point did my butt touch slide. You reach around and you're not touching slide. That's a free fall. I was not issued a parachute. I'm falling and I see my family walking up. I'm yelling, it's not a slide! and I hit the water. 
Oh, God! Those people shouldn't have been there! ride was the giant tube. Now, it was a medium tube at best. And it narrowed significantly. And I found out when I get nervous, I swell. It was a very tiny tube, not giant. I'm not too big, the tube was too small. But they shoot you right through, they have like water cannons. And you're supposed to just plop gently into the pool. I shot across the pool. You know in Free Willy when he jumps over a kid? I cleared four. There were some tourists there from Japan. God bless them, I made their vacation. They were like... It's a Free Willy! for me. Yes. Free weary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, we have it on videotape. I'm flying across the air. It's kind of funny. I dubbed the soundtrack from Free Weary into it. <laughs> so you see me flying, you hear that Michael Jackson song from Free Weary? Hold me like the river Jordan and I will then say to thee, you are my friend. should have started with the impressions. <laughs> I like that, Mike. I somehow disregard a book and bought a top and a one-man soul They follow the pattern of the wind, you know Cos they got nowhere to go That's why I want you to know That's my little Michael Jackson. Here's a quick impression. This is an Ewok from Return of the Jedi. If you didn't see Return of the Jedi, you won't like this. <laughs> One day you might see it and go, that was a very good impression. <laughs> I should see more movies. <laughs> this is my Ewok. Now let me finish up the water park story. Because there was one more ride. It was a medium slide. I thought it would be a fun slide. My butt touched slide. But the pool that you went into was too short. And you pick up steam. Well, I hydroplaned across the pool. I went through the fence out into the parking lot. And I mean way out there, H-I-J, please God. Stop. I crawl back up to the gate. They want me to pay to get in again. <laughs> Listen, pal, I'm in a Speedo. You see a wallet anywhere? <laughs> he said, I don't even see the Speedo. So I bought a condo, a little condo. Now I have to go shopping for the condo. I'm not a good shopper. And I just started shopping randomly. And I knew the first thing I bought it was going to be ugly. I didn't want any trouble. I went in and bought a toaster. And the lady said, could I have your name and address? No. I have this money. 
and I'm taking this toaster now. <laughs> you don't need my name and address. I'm not adopting it. I'm purchasing it. I might throw it off a building after I leave here. She asked me, she said, would you like to buy the warranty? For the toaster? No, I think I'm going to absorb the risk on this one. I'm not a gambler, but I'm feeling lucky today. If this toaster should break, and God forbid that day should come, I'm going to take another $39 out of my pocket and buy another toaster, because that's how I live. On the edge. I, I just don't. Stupid. Now, after I got the condo all filled up, they sent me back out on the road. And I toured Canada. And it's been a pleasure touring Canada. It really has been. And, well, listen. The first date in Canada was Ottawa in January. That's the best time to go. Um, it's not all touristy in January. The hotel rates are favorable. My suite was $39. Or well, you could give them a toaster, either one. They don't care. But Ottawa's a beautiful city and they have people, the, the river freezes and people skate on the river. It's beautiful to watch. And they have these snack bars on the ice and they sell these things called beaver tails. Oh, yeah. You applauded for beaver tails. You really are my people. Um, so. So, oh, you have to skate, the people's, you have to skate to the beaver tail. Now the beaver tails, it's like this big, it's a fried dough of death thing. It's all your Weight Watchers points, by the way. Um, I had to buy other people's points in my group. Now, listen, I am not an official Weight Watchers representative. I'm part of a rogue splinter organization where you can buy and sell points in the black market. So, you had to ice skate to the beaver tail, which is just cruel. Well, you can smell the beaver tails, you can smell the fried dough from your hotel room. It was making me crazy. So the third day I was like, give me ice skates. I skated to the beaver tail and there was this nice family from Ottawa, a mom and dad and two kids, and they were in front of the beaver tail stand. I just remember that look in their eyes, you know, like, Oh, well, he'll stop. I, I couldn't and I didn't. Cost me some tickets to the show that night, I'll tell you that. And I bought them all beaver tails while the paramedics looked them over. I'm not an outdoors person either. I like the lake, I like to go swimming in the ocean, that kind of thing, but so hiking, no. Hiking is, hiking is a walk that sucks. You know what you do when you walk? I love to walk. You walk to the movies, you walk in the mall, uh, you walk in the park. Hiking, hiking, you hike down a ravine, you hike up a mountain, you were hiking and you found a dead body. My friends took me hiking, and when we got to the lake, there was a kayak. Kayak.
kayaks are now on my list. I don't even, what is it? Is it a canoe for people with no friends? Mine didn't move. I'm not too big, the kayak is too small. They had to pull me out like a champagne cork. We got him. I'm wedged in this kayak going, If I fart in this kayak, <laughs> it's gonna have a thousand meter kill radius. It's gonna go off like a Claymore mine. I, I was in Jamaica and they lost my luggage. And by the way, Air Canada, I'm flying Air Canada tomorrow. Very good airline. Lighten up at the check-in. <laughs> Seriously, it's, yeah, uh, excuse me, I'm going to New York. You're checking over there at the machine. I, I'm going to New York. There's a machine over there. Do you have your confirmation number? Do you have your confirmation number? What do you do? Do you just point at the machine all day? I'm going to buy them a sign. Checking that machine and they'll lay your ass off. <laughs> my, my bag was a kilo over. Oh my God. Take a kilo, put it out of the bag. Put a kilo out of the bag. Wait, a kilo? What am I going to do? Cut a pair of underwear in half? If a kilo makes a difference in this bag going on that plane, I'm not going on that plane. I was in Jamaica and the airlines lost my luggage. I won't say what airline, but they lost my luggage. And there's not a lot of big and talls in Jamaica. I bought an extra large shirt and I had jeans on. I cut the jeans too short. Alcohol was involved in this decision. Oh, I look like a hooker. And the world's least successful hooker, I'm not bragging. There was a ride in Jamaica called a banana boat. It was an inflatable banana. And there were three of them going out at once. And it was actually fun, and I was dressed like a hooker. So I wanted something to take my mind off things. So I got him this inflatable banana. And, and the motorboat pulls it, and it was a lot of fun till the motorboat took the hard left. And I went sailing off the banana boat into the other banana boat. And there's that poor family from Ottawa. <laughs> and they're like, there's not even a beaver tail stand here! Why are you following us? <laughs> when I was in Los Angeles, I went to the doctor. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm getting older and I wanted to make sure that I was okay for the road. The doctor did a blood test, a stress test, and blood pressure, and they were really good. Now the doctor looked at me, shocked. She goes, these numbers are good. She goes, did you know you're allergic to wheat? I did not know that. The next time one of my friends called me and said, John, we're going wheat picking, would you like to come? I'll have to say no. The doctor said I was allergic. <laughs> then I thought, wait a minute, maybe I should ask questions. Wheat is flour. Oh, I said, what does this sweet thing mean? She said, do you eat a lot of gluten? <laughs> I, I don't know what gluten is, but yes, I would say yes. <laughs> um, I think I'm mostly gluten, to be honest with you. I don't know. And she gave me a book of things that have gluten in it. You know what has gluten in it? 
Every day! I said, check again, maybe it's just cancer. I, I didn't take it well. Have you tried gluten-free stuff? It needs gluten. If, if you want to know where the gluten section is in your local supermarket, look for someone with a gun in their mouth. Because bullets are gluten-free. Then I tried some gluten-free bread. At, I immediately asked for gluten spread so that I might reintroduce the gluten. I hope they make I can't believe it's not gluten. The, the gluten-free bread doesn't toast. It broke the toaster. $39. I should have bought the warranty. I love you, Montreal. Thank you.